So today we will be dealing with some of the important questions which have been asked in the recent FMG examinations. So what are the types of questions, how you should answer them, we will be just going in brief about these minute details. So as far as the first question which was asked is the below chromosome is concerned with. So over here you can see that it is the chromosome 6 which was mentioned and basically the question tests your knowledge about the linkage of chromosomes with diseases or pathology or any other association. Now chromosome 6 is shown and you have to identify whether it is uh, associated with option A, Wilms tumor, cystic fibrosis, HLA antigens or Frederick's attacks here. So this means that uh, some of the chromosomes which are there, they have got important linkages and you have to remember the linkages of the chromosomes. In here, I have just produced a table in which I have shown in a linear sequence chromosome 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 and 13 which are very important and the disease is linked with these chromosomes. So you can see from the table that the chromosome 6 which was the question asked is associated with HLA or MHC antigens. Very important. A question which has been repeated multiple times both in NEET PG as well as FMG examinations. So over here I have given a bit of an idea about chromosome 7 with cystic fibrosis about chromosome 8 with osteopetrosis, which is also known as the marble bone disease or elberg schonberg's disease, as well as chromosome 9 with a neurological condition known as Frederick's ataxia and chromosome 11, very important, Wilms tumor and chromosome 13 with unlucky retinoblastoma. So these are some of the linkages which you have to remember as far as chromosomes and the questions concerning pathology are medicine are asked. So it is very important. Now moving to the next question which happens to be an image based question which was asked. The below slide is from a young male with a brain tumor which has or origin from arachnoid cells and has a world appearance. So over here I will just enlarge the figure so you can see the world appearance of the tumor. It is from a young uh, uh, patient, young male and the tumor shows origin from arachnoid cells and has got a world pattern. So these are some of the things which are mentioned. The options given are medulloblastoma, meningioma, metastasis and butterfly tumor. Now pathology and you have to be very much particular about some of the important associations in pathology and as far as this question is concerned you are aware of one important uh, usually a benign tumor which is the meningioma and meningioma is characterized by origin from dural cap cells and arachnoid cells and on pathology it has got a world appearance unlike a very dangerous tumor which is given here butterfly tumor so butterfly tumor is something which is glioblastoma multiforme a very aggressive tumor poor prognosis and why butterfly because it crosses the corpus callosum and gives the shape of a typical butterfly on uh, a radiological appearance whether it is a CT or the MRI so butterfly tumor is not the option metastasis would not present with something specific pathology like the world appearance and they do not originate from the arachnoid cells and medulloblastoma is usually seen in children does not does not have a characteristic world appearance so the meningioma is the answer and you have to remember that it's a dural tumor and arises from arachnoid villi of the brain or the spinal cord and is one of the most common benign brain tumors and the origin is typically from the arachnoid cells so you have to remember this thing has a world pattern very important but remember this figure so you have to remember the world appearance of the meningioma which is shown over here so important so world appearance is the cache of the question so it is important now moving to the next question a 45 year old male presents with severe sudden chest pain radiated to the back followed by attack of syncope with a lesion as shown below most likely it is so a patient presents with sudden severe chest pain and important is radiation to the back 
and it is followed by syncope and here is shown aorta so that's important now the options given are coarctation lymphatic obstruction pathological dilatation of vessel and venous insufficiency so you are aware that there is one important entity which is seen as an aneurysmal rupture Rup outer is one big vessel which gets ruptured and it is very dangerous very severe characteristically presence with sudden onset pain ready to the back causing hypotension in case of a rupture and a patient can go in a state of irreversible shock so that is very important as far as the question is concerned so this is basically a rupture of the aorta so that is very important so this is how you are asked the questions and how you answer the questions thanks a lot